run game. Well, they're without their top runner in Charlie Booker. It's all on Aaron Champlin. Smith right away to the air. Coming underneath, Justice Shelton Mosley. Harvard first down inside of Yale territory. Shoved out of bounds by Spencer Rimashevsky. That's a gain of 21. Well, the Yale came with a blitz. You see both linebackers blitz. It's picked up. Yale plays almost exclusively man-to-man -man coverage. It's already in Yale territory. Pushing the pace. Shamplin off the left side. And brought down at the 40-yard line. And get one of seven seniors starting on defense for Yale. Smith stands in. Second catch of the day for Justice Shelton Mosley of their opening possession. First and 10 from the 31. Champlin up the middle. Yeah, just across the 30. More in all those categories, even though they gave up over 500 yards of offense and 31 points to Princeton last week. That tells you a little bit about runs on this play. Shelton Mosley told us Rimashevsky was the best corner he played against as a freshman here two years ago. Doesn't have him that time. Shelton Mosley inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first. The freshman going to get this much time. They're not going to be able to stay with Shelton Mosley. He's just too quick. You got a linebacker trying to cover crossing patterns to Shelton Mosley. Three receptions, Shelton Mosley first and goal. This is Champlin, and he's brought down at the eight-yard line. Forward to a lot of big play opportunities. He is, and we're already seeing guys fall down, Paul. We're already awesome. Play action to Champlin, and that looked like a face mask. You'll see Earl Chisholm right there. He's going to come unblocked. And Champlin, the freshman, actually goes out there, tries to get a peek right there. Yeah, he might have got him with both hands. He might have done the double dip there. Shelton Mosley leading the way for 48 yards. And the inside sweep, and he's dropped in the backfield. That's Mullen. We're getting a little cute here, trying to bring Shelton Mosley around. Almost like a speed sweep. Alongside seven seniors on that Yale D. This is Champlin in trouble off the right side. Goes down to the 10-yard line. Matt and Alua could have been so good. Champlin bounces it outside right away. Might have had something behind the center to the left. One of the differences. Bulldogs bring four. And get to him with four. Need Harvard like that on the road to end your season. Really kick-started everything this year. Jake Smith, penalty marker, comes in as he fires late. Ooh, rusher in the Ivy League and Charlie Booker. Adam Champlin getting his carries. Smith down to the backfield. Gain of four. Hayden Carlson, watch 26 come flying from the middle of your screen. He has been so good his entire career. He's in man-to-man -man coverage there. And as soon as he's showing man coverage and blitz here again, Paul. And run it right up the middle. Had a bunch of them last week against Yale. Only rush four this time. Smith gets rid of it late, just fires it away. For the most part, looking the part of the top defense in the Ivy League. Tough pitch there. And brought down another nice fence. Good on the perimeter here today. Nice job by Champlin just to catch that. And look at Alulukan's athleticism, by the way. Alulukan had the quarterback there in the option. Then he changes direction, gets down the line. That's a 235-pound linebacker getting down there in their cleats. Second down eight. Smith in trouble in the pocket, goes down. This is Yale defense, Paul. This is what they've done all year. See, Opplinger gets in there. A couple other guys help finish it as well. Opplinger, 22, though, just knocks Tim O'Brien, the left tackle, out of the way. Spencer Rimashevsky. From last in scoring D to first this year. Third down and 15. That's a completion, but well done. First down and 10 for the Harvard offense. Smith is five out of six and wanted Adam Scott to get back to those crossing patterns with Shelton Mosley. He had three of them for 48 yards on the first drive. Champlin bottled up in the backfield. There's a nice job of getting outside. And this is Shelton Mosley around the left side, and that is the Yale defense having none up. Conservative call by Harvard, but the way this game's going so far, Paul, it looks like it'll be a low-scoring game. Keep the clock moving and see if maybe your best athlete can make a play in space. Not able yards. Dudek 
Five rushes for only 14. Now it's the Yale defense. Whoa, dangerous. Wow. Mosley barely uh, offensive. Look at look at the corner. Look at Ruszewski. The bottom right up there on Jake Smith. You talked about top of the broadcast, Ross, that he would keep it himself and run. And look good doing it. Pushes that Big Smith can do now on third down and four. Had a nice pocket. He had that backfield for Yale. He did have as much time as he wanted. People are just struggling to get open. And I really think the lack bigger impact on kids' lives that way. Out of Austin, Texas, and the leading tackler on this team. Rawlings with a strike to J.P. Schofi inside the 10-yard line. It starts with great protection. It's just a post route by Schofi. He gets behind the linebacker, and it looked like the safety, Tim Hale, had eyes for someone else. Good design there because Hale, the safety, was looking at the other Yale receiver. Tremendous yards. Rawlings to Schofi, first and goal, Yale. Dudek lost his footing and goes down to the 11 yards against Dartmouth. Second and goal, Dudek with it. Tries to get around that left side. Does a nice job fighting to get back to the... Goes to his left to the end zone. J.P. Schofi. Just man-to-man -man coverage. Schofi working against the freshman Wingfield. He beats him at the line. Rawlings puts the ball perfectly over the... Shelton Mosley, three catches for 43 yards, all on that first drive. Smith drops in the backfield. Another sack. Opplinger leads the Ivy League in tackles for loss and produces that big play there. Also leads the Ivy League in sacks. Second in all of FCS coming in with nine and a half sacks. Let's give them all of that one. Hayden Carlson was in there as well. But Opplinger coming off the edge against the linebacker. Screen draw type of plays. And an option. There's Smith using that speed. And the late pitch. Ill-advised pitch. Scoop and score. It was just a, the wrong time to try that pitch. The problem with it, too, Paul, to your point, is that you lose the relationship between the quarterback and the running back when you get that far downfield yep. like that. Respond. It's a trailing now 14-3. to three. Evades the pressure. It's what he can just to cross the third progress. Freshman quarterback having a lot to do with that. Jake Smith steps up. Good job there. Completion out to the 40-yard line. That'll be first league this year. Is that the offensive line at Harvard, while respectable, just isn't quite up to the same standards. Second play in a row on the option. It's a fumble, and Yale... Watch 23, Foye Aluica. You know, he's got the quarterback there. And nobody really had their top rusher, Charlie Booker, who is second in the Ivy League in rushing. He's out with an upper body injury. Already Jake Smith in trouble, and down he goes. This is one of the things that makes Yale defense so good. You come to blitz off the edge, and Smith is used to being able to escape these guys. But Aluokun's a former safety. Look how well he runs and moves. Able to get the sack, and Harvard down. Aluokun in a camp? Next, without question. summer, you think? Yeah, yeah without question. Champlin finds a little opening off the left side, down to the 20s far. And now the Crimson facing third and 14. Down the middle, coverage there from Jake the second half. Kind of felt like Smith was just kind of throwing this up for grabs there. I mean, he wanted to get the ball to Henry Taylor here in the third quarter of total offense. Smith passing on first down, wants just to shelt Mosley. And that one broke. Was first team all Ivy in 2015, missed last year, just man-to-man -man coverage. Look at that right hand up. Led the Ivy League in tackles in 2015 in spite of the fact that he needed shoulder surgery on both shoulders after the season. Champlin out in the second half. Yale's been pretty aggressive. They bring one extra blitzer there. Keeps it himself. Alua cut back pass and then scramble for the first down. They do the read play there. Puts it in the belly. Alua was having nothing of it. See what they're doing. They're tight games here on this Saturday. Currently Yale on top, 17-3. Jake Smith to Justice Shelton Mosley. His fifth catch 
of the game. I know you are, Paul, for your son's flag football team. How about <laughs> just calling this play every time? Okay, let's call the shallow crossing pattern to Justice Shelton Mosley been by far the most successful play for Harvard today. Champlin off the right side, trying to reach that edge, gets it, and that's another Harvard first down. Works on every single level. First and ten. And Smith not going to get away from that trouble. Down is you got to throw this ball away. I mean, you, you can't take this sack right here. Right here, you got to throw it to somebody because it just makes it so difficult. A holding penalty or a sack, it's very, very difficult to get first downs after that, especially a sack. Second 17. See if they can get a little bit back, but he just threw that one away. And third athleticism made him think hard about it. And here he is now, third and 17. Oh, there's the shallow cross this time to the running back. Oh, they had it. He was going to get the first down on third and 17. Right there. Oh, the ball went right to. There was nobody there. And we've seen that a number of times as well. Another sack. And here's another one where it looked like Smith right there. He's got to throw the ball. I think sometimes your athleticism can be a curse because you feel like you can get out of certain situations that you just can't. He couldn't find anybody open, but you're much, much better off throwing the ball away there. Sixth sack of the afternoon by Yale. There's Northington up the middle and converting on third down so far. This is third and 16. Has the completion, but little else. The freshman, Jake Smith. Viviano comes underneath, one play, and one Viviano, it's just that Smith was playing better in practice, playing better in games, and he really feels for the way the senior season has gone for this kid. Biggest help? Yeah. Back before the Princeton game when we talked to him, he said that the guy has helped the most. He's been number 15, waited his turn, and had a nice junior season. Penalty marker comes in. And he can run. Joe showing you some wheels there around the right side. With the Viviano run in those 15 yards. First and 10 to the air. Right down the middle to Adam Scott. Viviano throws a beautiful ball. And Scott almost snares it out of the air. Yale defense in the backfield again. Backfield, a couple of linebackers, and a couple up front. Viviano back across his body. Dangerous throw. Wanted. Steps up and then goes down. Throw it up to somebody. And I think he wanted to right when he stepped up in the pocket here. Kyle Mullen having a day. That bounced back, and right away you said it's the best offensive line in the league. Yeah. It's reminiscent of some of the great Harvard offensive lines, frankly. Which your demo. Viviano. It's his second series of quarterback. Steps up and has this one picked off. Hayden Carlson. Still going. Down to the 35-yard line. We see the pick now by Hayden Carlson. Good jump on it here, Ross. He had an eye on Viviano the whole time, read exactly where Viviano wanted to go with the ball. It's no different for them than it is at Michigan, Ohio State, anywhere. Viviano flies Taylor. Good connection. There. Your MVP vote, Zane Dudek or Chad Kanoff, the Princeton quarterback. Hmm. Looking for Taylor again, falls incomplete. Raleigh's done a great job of taking care of the football. Dudek running it as well. And come underneath. It'll be Harvard first down. And Joe Viviano, the seems just late in the second half that they went over 100 yards of total offense. Pushing it to the end zone, and it's intercepted. Freshman. What a play. Wow. Deontay Henson, only a freshman.